Welcome back, everyone, for some more of my Rayo Zaragoza career mode for FIFA 19. And today I'm going to be playing my, the season opener of the Segunda División, and that is against Cordoba. I am the home side. But yeah, look at that kit. I, I, I don't know how anybody else feels about the particular kit, but I love this home kit. Their away kit's pretty nice too, but it, it's just something about this white and the sky blue that just looks amazing. I don't know what it is. It's 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 kind of like a reverse Manchester City, but luckily this team is no Manchester City since I don't really like Manchester City. So, um, but yeah, I'm that's one of the reasons why I picked this particular career mode is so I can see those kits. And Cordoba. I mean, I could play with those kits, but I think that it's just going to clash too much with my kit. So I'm just going to stick with their away kit since they're the away team. And like in the last video, there's my starting 11 and there's my bench. I am playing this on amateur just so I can get a feel since I haven't played this game in a while. But if this ends up being too easy for me, I'll, I will bump this up to semi-pro. But like I said in the last video, I'm not really taking this too seriously. So it really shouldn't matter what difficulty I put it on, but still, it, it'd be nice for me to challenge myself, so... And I might do that come January if this ends up being too easy for me, but, um... Anyway, without further ado, let's start this. Nigel Felix, the superstar player that I talked about in the last video, I cannot pl wait to play as him. Crap, I just realized I forgot to change the the kit numbers on my team. I, I'll do that at the end of the video off camera. But yeah, I definitely have to do that before the transfer window closes. And there's Cordoba's lineup, which I, rec I do recognize some of the names there. Hopefully they won't give me too many problems. Okay, they're kicking off. Oh, nice still! Of course that's a shot. Okay, let's see what I can do with this. Okay, it's kind of a little bit scrappy right now. Okay. Okay, there's Jao Felix. Nice! I hope so. Nice. Oh. I don't know why I keep wanting to shoot from that distance. I really should take my time with this. Yeah, I should take my time with this. Okay, just got to win this ball. Why not? Okay. Oh! Don't foul. Okay, there's the barrier. Wait! Okay, I was gonna say, why was he not shooting there? <laughs> I mean, I pushed a button several times and he just was not shooting for me. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, let me try to add a little bit of width in this attack here. See how good my wingers are. 
Oh, good defense there by Cordoba. Okay, let's try this again. I don't know what it is. It just seems like there's like my my guys are hesitating to shoot the ball. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I've never quite had that problem before. Okay, let's try this one more time. Okay, cross it. There we go. Nice goal by Unai Lopez, the former Athletic Bilbao guy. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Come on, don't don't foul him. Okay. I don't know what it is. My vi my um, video is getting kind of choppy here. I'm not quite sure what the story with that is. I know that's not really making things easy on me either. Come on, shoot the ball! Once again, there's that hesitation. I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's see. Oh, nice save. Nice! That was much about both Malang's size goal is what it was Zhao Felix. Zhao, Zhao Felix just happened to be there. But yeah, that was all Malang's sir right there. Okay, let's... Okay. Of course, that's a foul. This is an American football, guys. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can actually connect on a cross in this game. That would be awesome. Oh! Let me try it. I'm going to try this one more time, you know. I love, I love playing the width of the pitch, but it's kind of hard to do that when my guys don't... Oh, how did he miss that? You can tell this is a younger team, too, and I'm not sure if it's because... I, I, this is a bit of a higher difficulty where I normally play. I'm not sure that has anything to do with why I'm not having as much success as I thought. But having said that, you know, going it looks like I'm going to be ta going into halftime with a 4 nothing lead. I'm certainly not going to complain about that. Nice! That was a lucky goal. I thought for sure that was going to hit the post and get back out. Oh my gosh. That really wasn't, but okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, Alan. Nice! By Subaudia. Okay, that's three minutes of stoppage time. They're probably going to blow the whistle. Tell you what, Cordoba is playing some good defense, especially when it comes to crossing. I can't really do anything out in the wings. Nice! My left back gets in on the action. Yeah, my video is looking really choppy. I really hope it doesn't look like this whenever it actually I save this video. 
But yeah, I like those kits a lot. I'm actually getting a warning on OBS, so this will definitely be the only match that I play in this game. Okay, let's see. Most of my guys look pretty fit yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, Okay. See what I can do. Nice! That's a good way to start the second half. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I keep on getting a warning on my... OBS, so I may end up having to change the settings on this whenever I play this again. Like, it's looking really choppy right now. So this video is going to look like crap, but hopefully the future ones will look good. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, that... I don't know why I thought that hit one of my guys. Just power on pressure. Oh, nice! That was a good goal by Sar. And the way he's played this game, he deserves a goal. Yeah, he deserves that. Okay. Oh, how unlucky. That would have been a hat trick for Unai Lopez. Okay, let me continue play the width of the pitch. I say I can't really pick one player that's played bad. Everybody's been having a good game. Okay. Zhao Felix probably could have done a little bit better with that. There we go. My striker actually gets a goal. <laughs> That's always good to see. Okay, let's see. Oh, that was stupid. Nice! Okay, let's see. Oh, I thought that was going to go out. There we go. Braze Mendez gets a goal. Okay, that's nice still. There's his hat trick. If you would have asked me who would have got a hat trick in this game, I would have said either Pombo or Jao Felix, but definitely not Unai Lopez. Okay. Passing's not great.
the Zhao Felix's hat trick. Yeah, I'm not gonna have him as number nine, and his um his number in real life is actually 79, and I'm gonna change it to that. He's not even playing a number nine role; he's playing a number ten role. But I I want to have the numbers as realistic as I can. Well, which is funny considering I don't really want this to be realistic. I'm just having fun with this career mode. Okay, I'll be surprised if I score again. Nice! Four goals for Unai Lopez. Yeah, I'm just going to play around with the ball. This game is pretty much over. That was a good game. And like I said before, there's not really any player that I can see as of right now that I feel is underperforming. I mean, yeah, this is a, lo a young team. They've got plenty to learn and plenty to grow. But I think this is going to be a real exciting team in the, in the future, especially from the second season on. And this, this season's going to be exciting. But uh, this team, I just can't wait to see more of them. See some of the stats there? 59% possession. Malang Sir actually got me out of the match. Okay, my lowest rated player is actually my goalkeeper. He didn't see a lot of action at all. Uh, Unai Lopez, a leading goal scorer. Zhao Felix has two goals. Three goals to assist from him. Overall, good performance by this team. Okay, I'm actually going to do some training real quick. Okay, Pombo's up to 73 now. Papunish really's close to 70. Stefan's close to 76, so... Yeah, I think this is going to be exciting times here for Real Zaragoza. And let me just see... That, that's that's actually the only game I play before the uh, summer transfer window ends. Like I said before, I'm going to um, change the kit numbers. That way, they'll be more to the way I like them. And um, let me just look at the calendar real quick. Uh, oh, home game against Mallorca. Um, let me just see here. What I'm probably going to do is, I really don't want to do transfers on camera, and I really don't want to sim games on camera. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to finish the transfer window, and then I'm going to sim the Numancia, Mallorca, and Cadiz games. And I'm probably going to sim the Sporting Gijon game. And in the next video, I want to do not only this Copa del Rey game against Sporting Gijon, but I also want to play this game here against Real Oviedo. Again, it's going to be a home uh, game. So, yeah, those are the two games that I do want to do in the next video. I'm going to sim the, the next two games. Uh, the next two. I'm going to sim... The four games before that, uh, Numancia, Mallorca, Cadiz, and Sporting Gijon. And I'm going to start things off in the Copa del Rey. And I'm probably going to play like one or two games by each month. Like in October, the game that I'm looking at right now, two games I'm looking at is Las Palmas and Granada. November, the two games I'm looking at are Osasuna and Almeria on the 3rd and the 24th. But I don't want to get too far ahead of myself and... Um, but yeah, that's where things stand. I'm liking how things are going, and that's where I'm going to end things off here. So, But thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.